Welcome to Contract 101. Today's topic, reassignment after leaving the base. Reassignments which occur after leaving the base will comply with the following. Once you leave your base and a portion of your trip has been lost, you can be given other flying as long as you return to base within 12 hours of your original arrival. The trip cannot exceed more than 8 hours into your day off. If the new assignment will cause you to be on duty more than 4 hours into your day off, or past midnight of your originally scheduled arrival time, if your arrival was 1900 local time or earlier, you can have your day off restored through mutual arrangement with scheduling, or you can receive 5 hours of pay instead of the restored day off. Make sure you maintain your 8 day off minimum. Keep in mind that if you are reassigned to a trip from a domestic base, you will receive an additional $15 per hour for all time on duty beyond your original scheduled arrival. If you are required to remain at a downline location to protect equipment for mechanical reasons, you will be returned to your base no later than 24 hours after your originally scheduled return. If this causes you to be on duty four or more hours into your day off, you will have your days off restored with a mutual agreement with scheduling, or receive five hours of pay instead of the restored day off. You do need to maintain your eight days off. If you agree, you can be reassigned a trip that exceeds the guidelines already stated. After you leave your base, you can be reassigned even though your trip is operating. If you are due a restored day off subject to mutual agreement with scheduling, please see section 5G3. For more information, refer to section 5K5 and 5G3 of the contract. Stay up to date by visiting calafa.org.